Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mickey Jam Live with your host, Lucy Pohl. Can you? I, I, I love that. I love that earlier. I, you know, uh, super gonorrhea was actually my favorite superhero growing up. It was, it was phenomenal. Uh, you know, he's just, uh, he's. Yeah, he would, just... he would fly around the country and spread gonorrhea. Um, and that was, when was that? Around 19. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Nolan, no more of that. Um, how are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm I'm doing good. I'm I'm good. I was a little tired, and then you you have so much energy. I'm I so do. impressed. I do. I do. Wow. Thank you. you know, when I when we first moved to New York, I was eight years old, and that was in the '90s. <laughs> and um, we were on Bowery one night, and my dad who's an actor and very overly dramatic, said to us, look at this! This is the most dangerous street in the world! And we're all like, ah. So to this day, when I'm on Bowery, I'm always like, wow, it's the most dangerous street on the, in the world. <laughs> that's, that, that's a big thing he's saying. I mean, I knew a lot of dangerous streets in New York when I lived there. Yeah. So it's, you know, it, it could be anywhere. That The da most dangerous street in, the, in New York used to move from night to night. <laughs> yeah. Where the criminals were. But Nolan, I read that you moved to New York and first you were a reporter, but you also did stand-up comedy. I did. I did. Um, I, I clearly I don't do it anymore because I wasn't very good at it. But I had done it in college down in North Carolina. I don't know if you ever did the Charlie Goodnights down like in Durham and Raleigh or down that area. And then I was in New York and I was I was actually a reporter for for about a year and I hated it. Wow. So I just started doing stand up again. And it was just you no know, stand up New York. And you know I never got to like Caroline's or anything like that. But it was like. Uh, there was a couple of little places that they, they would literally give us a, a, a beer and an appetizer. Yes. If you went up. Yes. And that's all I really cared about. Oh so, my God, I mean, there was yes. A, yeah, there was a time in my life when I would just have like a, a because the guy even used to say, I used to say, can I have a bass ale? And he'd be like, domestic, domestic <laughs> only. And I'm like, come on, dude, it's a dollar difference. And then he got to like me, so I used to get that. And it was, you know, it was like, like get some wings or get some mozzarella sticks. It was just, yeah. it, it, it cures what ails you. I remember one of the first comedy gigs um, I ever did was a booking that I was in a sketch group. Me and this girl, we were called Rich and Famous on the Inside. We thought that was so clever. And inside was spelled with a dollar sign instead of an S, whatever. That is, that is cutting edge. <laughs> I know. And um, she got us a gig in Nyack, New York, which is uh, like sort of um, an hour, two hours outside of New York, yep. an hour and a half outside of New York. And the payment for this gig was a free salad <laughs> at the like place, the bar where we were doing it. And we were like, what? We're going to go and perform and get a free salad. Our mind was blown. We went up there. We were so happy. We performed for one toothless drunk man <laughs> who heckled us the entire time. We did our whole act and at the end we were like, salad! I don't think yep. I've ever been that happy again after a yeah, no, it, it But you know, some of the, that's, those are the days you remember. You remember the stories I used, I remember doing one night and there was like six people in the audience. Yeah. And, it was, and there was more tables than there were people. And everyone was spread out in like the corners. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. Guy, just everybody come up here. And nobody <laughs> wanted to do that. And I remember just sitting down on the edge of the stage, just like, who's got a good joke? And we ended up just telling jokes to each other. 
That's awesome. And, and it was probably one of the best sets because I didn't even do any of my material, which was yeah. you know, dog shit anyway. But um, <laughs> no, it was good. It was, I think, that, you know, and then um, I, the last time I ever did it, somehow how I got on this uh, World AIDS Day in wow. 1992 at the uh, Laugh Factory on Sunset Boulevard in LA. Wow. And I was on a show and the publicist said, you used to stand up, right? I have a friend, they're doing this uh, charity event at the this Laugh Factory. And I said, I haven't done stand up in a while, but you know what, that'd be a good way to close out. I said, or maybe get into it. I thought, I th that's right. I thought it, this would be a cool way to get back into stand up. You know, I haven't, yeah. I get there. It's literally Wendy Liebman, who was the female comic of the year, Bobby <laughs> Collins, Dave Chappelle, oh, Jay no. Moore, oh, no. uh, uh, Damon Wayans oh, came no. in, and, and then his brother showed up, Kevin Pollock, me. Oh, no. And I literally got there thinking, oh, oh no. Seven to 10 minutes, everybody had seven to 10 minutes, went up there, did it got the laugh. It was great. Cause you know, charity, you've done charity, charity yeah. events are great. Cause people laugh, even if it's not funny, yeah. they're like, Oh, well, you know, you're, it's for a good cause. Yeah. You don't bomb at a charity event. And, yeah. um, I never did it again. Instead of like it being the impetus to get back in, I went, I'm never going to get a better bill than that. <laughs> that's and, and I just, I, I love it. I lucked into it. So I just <laughs> said, all right, that's it. Good night. Thank you, everybody. That was it. I was just, I was done. That's and, amazing. Yeah, it was, it was great. I remember going on a couple of those drives with guys. I'm like, we're going to get killed. We did, a, we did a, we did a bananas. We went, I did one place that we went up like upstate New York. Uh, I don't yeah. think it was Nyack, but we went north to a bananas, which happened to be, and I thought it was like, wow, I'm going to do this show. And it was in a holiday inn. Oh, that goodness. nobody wanted a comedy show there. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't even a comp, it wasn't even like a, 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 you know, like a stage and everything. It's like, it's, it's like doing dinner theater to people are like, what, who gave this guy a mic? What are we doing? Oh no. It was awful. My two, it, was, it was just one of those times where you're like, yeah, just want to go two, away. Um, so the pandemic has brought on a new um, cringiest show of all time. But before the What's pandemic, that? It was a show I did recently um, on a balcony for eight Trump supporting Israelis, um, which the Trump supporting is whatever, I don't care. But they started yelling at me because I, I had a joke about Mike Pence looking like a nipple. And they were like, we like Mike Pence here. And then I yelled back and I said, does that mean you don't like jokes? And then they all sort of just yeah, uh, uh, stared at me. And I was on their balcony. The door was open and they were sitting in the living room like, <laughs> yeah. like oh my God, this is definitely a new career low. And then the second, um, second worst, not worst, but cringiest show was actually at a Comic-Con in Florida somewhere. And they were like, yeah, we want you to do your hour. And you know, doing an hour, like <laughs> you need it's... people's attention. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Um, and so I was like, cool. And they were like, here, we, you'll get a separate fee and we want this comedy show. And I was like, all right. And so they decided to put me in a ballroom that was separated. That was like, um, where they put up like this, like weird wall, like basically it could have been a curtain. And on the other side of this little wall was cosplay wrestling. Yeah, I, with I, like <clears throat> 450 people. So like every like four minutes, there was like, whoop, ah! and I yeah. would have to and, stop and be like. And no matter how good your material is, who's going to miss cosplay wrestling? Yeah, I didn't want to be there. I, I didn't want to do the I show. I mean, shit. Exactly. I wanted to go to cosplay wrestling. I was like, what am I doing here? Why? Yes. There was like all these like like sad looking cosplayers sitting there and you could tell that they were like, I didn't know this was gonna be at the same time as cosplay wrestling. <clears throat> and Nolan North, that's why you are here to play some very silly games. Are you ready to play? Oh, I like silly games. Games. games yes. Live. I do, I like silly games. Good, because we've got the silly for you tonight and we've got some contestants here who think they can beat you. Please, let's meet our contestants. 
contestants. First up, we've got Miss Vanessa. Hello, hello, Miss Vanessa. Straight from New York City. Hello, How are hello. How you feeling tonight? Good. Good. I'm nervous. You're ready? But you got your Overwatch ready. hat, your allegiance. Don't be nervous. I had, to, I had to match uh, Booty Farts energy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's who we're going to say hello to next. Hello, Mr. Booty Farts. Welcome, hello, welcome. Hello. Um, Mr. Booty Farts. Booty Farts? That's, that's classic. I'm loving that. <laughs> Booty Farts is a Do I have to compete legend. against him? Because I automatically am rooting for him now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to say hello um, to Miss B. Hello, Miss B. How are we doing tonight? I'm doing okay, Lucy. How are you? Oh, we're doing just fine over here. Thank you very much. We've got a very new face on here tonight. Someone who has never been on the show before. Let's say hello to Devin, or is it Devon? Uh, Devin. <laughs> um, Devin, where are you? Uh, you know, bumfuck nowhere, Alaska. Alaska! Yes! <laughs> Those are our con contestants oh, tonight. Guy. Let's get the show on the road. We don't have all day over here. I'm going to bring my game? husband out. What? What's the game? <laughs> it's Immigrant Jam. It's Immigrant Jam Games, baby. This is my husband, the wheel, Nolan. But we're going to kick it off with a game called He is Legend. Yes, Nolan North is a legend, as you guys know. Um, unfortunately, tonight... He's the only survivor of a zombie apocalypse. So we need to know what the three things are he would need to do to survive and save the human race and what voice would be most convincing to do it in. Um, you each have 15 seconds. Nolan, you can choose to participate in this or you can choose not to participate in this. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna think about it, but I'm gonna wait to see what everybody else comes up with. <laughs> nice strategy. The chat will decide the winner. The winner gets 5,000 points and veto power when we pick teams next. Um, I would say Booty Farts, you're up first as, um, <laughs> as the, the, the father of all car commercials tonight. Uh, you have 15 seconds. What would Nolan North n need to survive in an apocalypse and save the human race? And what voice would he need to do it in? You have 15 seconds. Your time starts now. I would say all Nolan North needs is his fun energy and charisma, and he'll just convince people to like provide and protect him. And he's going to use the voice he used in uh, Saints Row 3. Can we hear it, please? I can't do it. It's Nolan North's voice. Oh, Jeez. my <laughs> God. Your time is up. B, you're up next. Are you ready oh, to do it? All I right. sure am. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. We only got to do one thing. Got to go to space. Got to go to space. That's all we got to do. Got to go to space. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Face. Face. Nice. Face. B, that was your time. I'm very confused, but I think it works. Go to space. That's, Why not? That's a good uh, one. No, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a portal space. reference. Dead. 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 Yes, son. Are you space? Space. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nessa, go next. So he's going to need some meat. He's going to need alcohol. And he's going to need a gun. Uh, just in case he needs to fight anyone off. And I think the voice he'll do it in is that fake Trump voice because apparently that brings the masses to listen to him. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Everybody knows it's huge. 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 <laughs> Meat. Meat and alcohol. Huge. Meat, uh, al then... alcohol, and a gun. Devin. Devin in Alaska. Are you ready to do it? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. All right, great. Your time starts now. All right. Uh, so he's only going to need one thing. And that's going to be his masses of adoring fans. And yeah. the only thing he's going to need to do is use his stoked, vast voice because people are going to think he's Gerard Butler and they're going to follow his ass wherever he goes. What? Holy shit. That was pretty impressive, Devin. Nolan, um, it looks like that was the one that really got you. Uh... I, think, I think she's right. I'll tell you what, Hiccup. Get me all the elk from there. <laughs> we'll take him down instead of dragons. See, the problem is I don't need anything. I'm going to just confirm because I'm the person who would walk up to the first zombie and say, just bite me. Get me over with it. I don't want to fight off hordes. I just want to join the group. I'm, it's, just, it's, it's exhausting. 
you know, and the joke's on them because I have super gonorrhea. So <laughs> they do too, once they bite me. Nice, I love it. Nolan is like, guys, listen. I'm not gonna save anyone, okay? I'm not running, I'm not running. Uh, uh, we are gonna spin this wheel and um, Ness is gonna tell us who won this round. No, what am I talking about? We're gonna pick teams and Ness is gonna tell us who won this round. Ness, when it comes in, you will let me know. The first team is uh, Booty Farts and... Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. B! That's hey. right! Booty Farts and B, please think of a team name. Our second team will have Mr. Nolan North on it. And also, we'll have, ooh, Neek, otherwise known as Nessa. That's right, I was misinformed as to uh, the contestants on the show tonight. And so, it's Nolan and Nessa, which means okay. Devin, it's you and me, baby. That's right. Um, you and me. So we need some team names here, people. B and Booty, what is your team name? The name that has been put out there is Boot B Farts. <laughs> what? Boot B Farts. Boot B Farts. How beautiful. I love it. And um, Nolan and Nessa, what is your team ne name? But North Wolves! The Northern the, the, the... Wolves. Yes. The Northern Wolves. And Devin, what should we be? Should we be the Polar Cap? <laughs> or I, should is, we... is, there's so many ways to go there. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Devin, please speak now or forever. Uh, poll. <laughs> oh, the poll. <laughs> poll. You're the poll. <laughs> the poll. Something I've always wanted <laughs> my whole life. I, I yes, the poll. Perfect. Ness, who won this game, please? Holy shit, Nessa! That's that's one. That means you have five. <laughs> that, wow, meat, yeah. alcohol, and um, what did you say? Meat and alcohol, a gun. And a gun. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nessa, uh... you have a veto power. I'm guessing you're going to stay on your team. Um, am I right? Yeah, why the <laughs> f would I want to change? Yeah, why the <laughs> f would you want to change? Hello? How could I disrespect this team? man? <laughs> Is that an option? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. Come on, we're going to spin this cap. wheel. We don't have all day. Okay. Um, boot B farts, you're up first. The Northern Wolves, you start out with 5,000 points. Um, the Pole Fox, zero points. The Boot B farts, zero points. Here we go. My husband is gonna let us know what he wants us to do. Boot B farts. This is very easy. You know this one. It's Lucy's Diner. That Lucy's Diner is a diner that serves the most disgusting food on the planet. B and Booty, you each have 10 seconds to tell us what the Nolan North special is that's on the menu tonight. Make it gross, make it disgusting. You have 10 seconds. We will let you know if you have won your points or not. B, are you starting? No, nope, Booty is. Booty is starting. <laughs> Booty, your time starts now. I'm going to say that the Nolan North special is a Taco Bell burrito. Gone through the human centipede oh, three times. God. And B, take it out. Mix over. it up with a little bit of scotch and, and it makes a wonderful drink. And then it's covered with the exploding lemon and some scotch. We set it on fire so it's a flambe. Honestly, I love that shit, the flambe stuff. So you still got the barbet on the side. It's perfect. That's your time, you ultra freaks. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> a Taco Bell taco that's gone through the human centipede three times, God. sprinkled with a weird New York accent and some other <laughs> shit. 800 points for you guys. Um, okay, well, the uh, Northern Wolves, you're up next. Let's see what my husband is gonna choose for you in this wheel round. Oh, yes, and this is Ness's favorite game, the Love Child Challenge. Oh, boy. You, are going to see two images on your screen. 
Um, these two images will have made a love child, and we want your 10 second impression of what this love child would sound like. Okay, very easy. Ness will throw it up on the screen, and then you will have 10 seconds to do the impression of the love child. I'll, I'll <laughs> go first because if you go first, then I can't follow up. So, oh. yes, you, yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ness, hit us with it. Oh, this is a good one. Robin Williams and a sloth on a flamingo. Nessa, your time starts now. How about <laughs> that? <Wow>! Yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. Nolan, are you ready to do your thing? Probably not, but let's hit it. <laughs> All right, can I, can I, can, would you stop interrupting me? But you want to stop interrupting me? Because, because I, like, no, excuse me, I am speaking. I am speaking and you have nothing to say. I am speaking. Because I am oh, yes. Madam Vice President. You can kiss my... <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That was amazing. Full points. I mean, you can't get any better than that. A 1,000. Well, All right, here we go. The poll seven. I hope you're ready. Let's do this. I'm ready. Come on, Alaska. Let's bring the heat. Oh, the penis monologue. It's very simple. Um, you know, the peni, <laughs> plural of penis, in case you didn't know. The penis, you know, we don't hear a lot of the penis's thoughts, do we? So this is what this game is all about. Devin, we are each going to do a 10 second penis monologue. And um, seeing that you're in Alaska, I think you should start. That makes no sense, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Get into the mind and soul and head of a penis in 10 seconds. <laughs> yes. Tell us what this penis <clears throat> is thinking. Your time starts now. Me? Okay. My master plays video games all day. I feel like I'm in an immersive production of Waiting for Godot. Godot being the vagina. Ah. <laughs> Wow, that is the sad, that's the saddest dick I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you! Yes! Clearly, he's the penis of a woman. He's a woman's penis. He's an internal penis. That's How can you guys not go with, it was light, it was dark, it was light, it was dark, it was light, and I threw up. <laughs> I think we get the full points, 1,200 points for us. That was beautiful, Devin. You really pulled out all the stops. Um, all right, it's time for another game that we have made up for Mr. Nolan North. This game is called No Land's Land. Now that No Land has saved <clears throat> the human race, it's time to make a better world. You know, Nolan is a hero, a true hero of our time. Wouldn't you like to live in a land where Nolan rules supreme? Now you can. So this is how it's going to work. One of you is going to make up a national anthem for No Land's Land. And uh, the other one is going to tell us the three proclamations um, that we must live by in No Land's Land. So actually, we're going to do the three proclamations first. And then the other team member is going to make up the national anthem and sing it for us. And you must do it in the most nasally voice possible uh you each will have 20 seconds the boot be farts you start the chat decides the winner the winner of this game gets twenty thousand points uh the boot be farts you're up first who's gonna do the proclamations and who's gonna sing the anthem i'll go ahead and sing if you want to proclaim you have a better proclaiming voice i think right okay so, booty we need the three proclamations that everyone must live by in No Land's Land. You have 20 seconds, and then B will make up a beautiful national anthem for No Land's Land. And your time starts now. All right. Well, first proclamation is you must free ball at all times. 
<laughs> gotta, right. I can dig that. Gotta let it get that breeze in there, you know? Yeah, you gotta get it going. Second proclamation, no cheese whatsoever. <gasps> no, no lactose. So we had an incident a few years back. Still can't talk about it for legal reasons. Okay, your time is uh, almost up. And the up. third proclamation, <sighs> Hawaiian shirts every Thursday. Wow, you went way <laughs> over time, but I like it. B, can you uh, sing this national anthem for us in 20 seconds? <clears throat> I will try. All right, hit it. No lands land, land of the free balls. <laughs> Why shirts on Thursdays? No lactose, no cheese. You will want to die as your testes are in the breeze. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No uh, land's land, land of the free balls. Woo -hoo! The Northern Wolves, that's a tough act to follow. Who's going to proclaim and who's going to sing on this one? Yeah, Nolan, you can go ahead and sing your heart out. <laughs> so, so are you doing the proclamations? And you have to do the proclamation. <clears throat> yes, yes. Okay, okay, Nessa, then you start and you've got 20 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. Um... Everybody for themselves. You don't gotta help anybody. Wow. Um, everybody gets a free bourbon. Wow. And everyone has to play all his games <laughs> for research. Wow, right on 20 seconds. Individualism, alcoholism, <laughs> and uh, I guess a little bit of totalitarianism. <laughs> Nolan. I want to hear this national anthem for your land. Your time starts now. My country just for me only drink good whiskey and play my games. Be selfish, kick a nun. Who cares? We don't like no one. It no land's land and it is done. Be selfish, you pricks. Devin, do you want to sing or do you want to proclaim? Mm. Mm. Sing, 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 sing. Okay, okay, sing. Sing? sing? Okay, great. Ness, are you going to time me? I'm ready. Let's do it. In no land's land, everybody has to be obsessed with David Hasselhoff. That's right. Everybody has to love David Hasselhoff. In no land's land, we um, dance the twist with a grandpa every Monday morning at 8 a.m. And in no land's land, we uh, Ooh, love to eat a German forest cake. <laughs> it's Nolan's land or Lucy's land? I think maybe it's Lucy's land. Your time starts now. Welcome to Nolan's land where we love the hop. Let us get some cake and dance the twist with grandpa. I don't know where we're going, but okay, it sounds fun. Let's just die because I am inside. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah. Uh, boot be farts. You're up first. All the points are doubled. Here we go. Ness, you'll let us know when we have a winner, right? Woo, this is a simple one. This is a fun one. This game is called Thalassa What? <laughs> um, your one sentence philosophy on the following subject. Booty or B, who's going first? I'll go first on this one. I threw booty under the bus. All right, B, <laughs> your one <laughs> sentence philosophy. You've I'm got five here, right? seconds to get it in. Your one sentence philosophy on recounting things. Go. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, you probably have ADHD. Okay, and your time is up. <laughs> booty farts, are you ready for philosophy? What? No, but let's go anyway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> your one sentence, five second philosophy on people who only do voiceovers for car commercials. <laughs> Very niche. I feel nothing but pain inside. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
very good, very good. Full points awarded. Very, very good. And weirdly, that was worth 18,000 points. Nobody knows why. The Northern Wolves, you're up. Speed round, wheel round. All the points are doubled. Let's go. Oh my God. And you've landed on Healing Stream Engage, which means you get 3,000 extra points and another spin of ye old wheel. Let's see what my husband wants to see. Oh, this is a tough one. This game is called Tweet or Dare. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you choose Tweet or do you choose Dare? Dare. Not tweeting shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> the dare. Let me think about that. Is to tweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Nessa and Nolan, please get out your phones. Um, go to Twitter and just write the following sentence. All caps. I won a hot dog eating contest comma by a lot hashtag immigrant jam live hashtag hot dog life <laughs> tweet it as soon as we see the tweet we will award you all the points what oh my god this is insane the northern wolves are cleaning up left and right well, congratulations you guys you get a thousand oh no that's five ten thousand points oh my god you guys are cleaning up uh, yes. this will be the last wheel round uh the pulse we really got to get this thing going come on let's do it Devin. we can do this oh yes and we also have landed on the lasso so that means that ness is gonna give me my philosophy. What? And uh, Devin, I'm gonna give you yours. One sentence, five seconds. Philosophy. What? What is your philosophy on hot dog eating contests? Go. Never let a man who wins hot eating uh, hot dog eating contest or woman near your dick. <laughs> wow. Ness, uh, will you please give me my philosophy? What? school of horrible acting every week because everybody wants to be famous but no one wants to put in the work am i right so tonight i want to give you all a lesson on soap opera acting high stakes okay pull out all the stops all the emotions are out in the open nothing makes sense but it doesn't matter because emotions are what matters we want to feel something we want love we want passion we want heartache we want stuff to matter, okay? So this is how it's gonna work. I am going to pull a line out of this ridiculous coffee cup uh, that I have here. And uh, you must deliver it to your partner as if you were the star of your own soap opera. Uh, your partner in the scene will always be David Hasselhoff and will always answer, why did you kill my brother using a poisoned pomegranate. You will, you will be David Hasselhoff and you will always answer saying, why did you kill my brother with a poisoned pomegranate seed? Okay, the boot bee farts, you're up first. You've each got 15 seconds, so don't, you know, don't take too much time. Make it big. Make it passionate. Make it wild. Make it interesting. Make it a soap opera. Uh, B, you're going first. Your line that you will deliver to David Hasselhoff, a.k.a. Booty Farts, will be, Hi, I'd like a half pound of fresh Italian mozzarella from the Calabria region. As if you were in a soap opera. Your time 
starts now. Hi. I'd like a half pound of mozzarella from the Calabria region. Why did you kill my brother with a pomegranate? <laughs> because a poisoned he pomegranate. Was too handsome He's and allergic Hades to them. The you don't even have to poison it. That's a waste of poison. Hades is all the rage. I love it. it. That is commitment, people. The Northern Wolves. Let's go. All right, <clears throat> Nolan, your line is: you're in the doghouse, but you're a poodle. It's normal. You're in the doghouse, but it's normal. <laughs> You're a poodle. <laughs> yes, yes. Why did you kill my brother using a, po a poison pomegranate seed? <laughs> wow, wow, and she exited. Beautiful! <laughs> Devin, are you ready? Bring it. Uh, your line is going to be, hi, I'd like to purchase an AC that has a self-cleaning filter system because I can't stand cleaning the filters. I hope you wrote that down. I did write it down. You want, you want me to show you? Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me? I'd like to purchase a self-cleaning AC system because I just can't stand cleaning the filters. Wow. Why? Why did you kill my brother using a pomegranate seed? <gasps> he had it coming. <laughs> I obviously yeah, will never get a job <laughs> on a soap opera. <laughs> Um, Devin, I thought that was very impressive, very beautiful. The chat will tell us who won that game. That's uh, another 20,000 points for the winner. Ness, do we know who the winner of this last game is? Who is it? Oh my god, the Northern Wolves are cleaning the They point. cannot oh. be stopped. <laughs> this, this, this is absolutely, it's pandemonium here in the Civic Center. The Northern Wolves are just running away with this, kids. I don't even, I don't care if I'm wearing the pants anymore. And it has been decided that all teams move to the finale. The Northern <laughs> Wolves are in the lead with 40, 50, uh, 55, uh, about 63,000 points. The sure. pole have 19,200 points, and the boot B farts have uh, 20,800 points. Uh, the Northern Wolves are obviously cleaning up. Uh, the Great North Pole Expedition is our finale tonight. That's right, mm. everybody's, everybody's talking about the poles these days. I'm so sick of it, okay? No one is talking about the North Pole. Well, I disagree. <laughs> the Nolan North. Oh, North oh, you mean the? I'm sorry. I, I thought you meant a different pole. <laughs> no, not that pole. So, what would you guys do to get to the Nolan North and Lucy Pole? One of you, one of the team mem members, will tell us the most insanely daring thing you have ever done in your life, and then the other one will do an interpretive dance of the story. But here's a twist. You both have to do it being very cold. Shiver, shudder, and shock us, people. Each of you gets 30 seconds. Boopy farts, are you ready? Yes. Okay. This is for the finale. The winner takes it all, sort of, I guess. The um, most daring thing we've ever done, right? The most daring thing you've ever done, and the other person does an interpretive dance of the story. Then, Booty, you start. And uh, your time starts now. So this one time I, I was in the Solomon Islands and I, I went to the top of this mountain on a tour with my, some of my coworkers at the time. And we got robbed by a bunch of kids who were drinking and had like steak knives. And me, I was ready to fight. I'm like, dude, I don't care if you're 12, I will throw you down this mountain. But my boss at the time was like, no, dude, we didn't want <laughs> an international incident. So I'm like, fine, okay. But just before we left, wait, I probably shouldn't say that on camera. But anyway, the rest of those things happened. Oh my God. He is going to do an 
interpretive dance of it. B, your time starts now. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, the Northern Wolves, are you ready to do it? The Great North Pole Expedition. Okay. There was a time when I lived in New York City mm -hmm. that I got into a fight with a neighbor and ended up hanging him outside a window 11 stories up on 52nd Street. <laughs> he was not wearing anything but his underwear, which gave people a lot of great concern when they saw it. I ended up yanking him back in and trying to exit the building when the police picked me up. Then I ran for a short couple blocks, moved into a store and immediately walked out of the store as they came in because they didn't realize that I was the one they were chasing. <laughs> and I went back, back to the apartment building and continued to beat up the previous person. Because <laughs> he had done something with a girl I was dating at the time. Oh no. <laughs> and oh, I got Nessa. away with it too. Uh, woo! Nessa, um, we are excited to see this interpretive dance. Wow. You're in a different place. Uh, yeah, I had to. Hmm. All right. I had to I had to leave Gotham for this. All um, right, do it. Nessa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? Don't ever touch her again! Oh, not again! Oh, the humanity! Oh! No! Oh. He said she wanted a real man! Woo! <laughs> That was beautiful. Well, Devin, I think you should tell the story and I should dance because I'm curious what the most daring thing is that you've ever done out in Alaska. Go ahead. So it was, it was the middle of winter and uh, I was in my high school and uh, I just, I wanted to get out of there, you know, it was, it was so, you know, high school. Anyways, there were two bull moose right outside the high school doors yes. and I looked right at them and you know what? I just decided, and so I went outside and, well, you know what happened? The moose walked up to me, sniffed my hair, and I could see the teacher screaming from inside. And it was a, it was an experience as they uh, slowly, slowly dragged me back inside the doors, hoping that I wouldn't get crushed to death by the moose. Wow. Okay, here we go. Ness, are you timing me? Am I starting? slim margin <laughs> by a lot is uh the pole f the pole f the yeah. pole f the pole f we're the winners Let's Devin uh, Alaska all the way and also your personal own signed Funko Pop Nolan thank you so much for being so generous with your time thanks your guys and your that's spirit. my man yeah. you are absolutely incredible we cherish you we love you we honor you thank you for everything you have given us tonight and over the years it's so good oh, to gosh. see you
guys.